Hi guys and welcome to a, uh, another Commodore 64 review. Um, I was going to do a Mortal Kombat one but I decided to do another Commodore one just because um, I've only got a, a short amount of time to do this video. So I've got the house to myself so I can do the Commodore ones pretty fast, a lot faster than the Mortal Kombat ones because there's more going on in my head when I talk about Mortal Kombat. So um, yeah I'm just going to do another Commodore one now. Because uh, I just did Commando on Commodore 64, um, I thought I'd keep up the Rob Hubbard tradition and take a look at Monty on the Run. Um, this game is a very special game. It's one of those games that's extremely challenging. You go through screen by screen, and in each screen there's ghosts in the form of either just ghosts, or they'll be like mugs that are moving or all sorts of things. TV even and they're sort of like alive and all these things are after you. And the object is to get through all the screens to this boat where you, uh, if you manage to complete it, you escape um, a crazy level, you know, and you're, you're sort of free. The idea is to be free. Um, I think the story was something like... Um, that you're in a prison and you escape because you're you play as a mole so I'm guessing like you tunneled out of this prison and then yeah you go through these houses it's sort of strange that everything's sort of after you it's weird but um I'll load it up now my thing is a bit funny all right um as with Commando, this one is a copy, so I can't show you guys the box. But um, I think it had sort of like Monty, like sort of running towards a boat. Um, I think that was the box. Um, this this game's got one of my favourite cheat codes ever, and that is uh, you die, you kill yourself, and then it asks you to put your name in, and you put your name in as I want to cheat. You put that as your name, and it says yes, boss. <laughs> I let you cheat. <laughs> I love that. That's cool. I want to cheat. Okay. <laughs> so, so it comes up now and asks me to put my name in. Now I'm going to cheat for this video just because the game is very hard and challenging. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Hang on a sec. So I want to cheat. You press enter. The screen goes grey. It says yes, boss. And then the first thing you got to do is you're going to choose your escape kit. So, apart from the game being extremely hard, you got all these items to choose from, and only five of them um, are the, will get you through the game. And if you're missing one of those five, uh, tough shit, because you'll have to do it all over again. So, the five items you need are the speaker. You need that for the last person, the last thing in the game. There is a, a, a talking head that blocks the exit of the whole game and if you don't have that speaker you get all the way to the end and you can't beat it so yeah you need that to get rid of the talking face you need the gas mask to get into the sewers if you don't have them you can't get into the sewers you'll just be stuck again uh, you need this that's a passport it's sort of like open you need that to board the boat um, so you think you need a gun and all this stuff but you don't you need the rope um, in the tree level let you get to the top and get paperwork or something. And you need this jetpack because there's a part where you have to fly. You can't walk. So that is the Monty Freedom Kit right there. Speaker, gas mask, passport, rope, backpack. Right, okay. So let's check it out. So you start the game. Now, I know, you know, I told you guys that you're cheating. But on this screen, it hasn't taken effect yet. So you dodge the ghosts. And as you can see, just by pressing fire, you do somersaults. And those flashing fires are actually 50s. They give you 50 points. Now, the idea is to find a boat. So this cheat takes effect when you... See that little boat there in the water? When you get that, the cheat takes effect. There we go. So now I'm cheating. As you can see, those little mashes changed. And yeah, I can touch all the ghosts now and not die. Which is very handy because... I mean, if you're going through this game and not cheating, it is really hard. I mean, look at this. Look, there's shit everywhere. And on top of that, you can fall into those water pits. 
and yeah, you can't touch them at all. Like if you if one sprite on Monty touches them, you die. You know, so it is very hard. And I've tried to do this without cheating, and I, I've pretty much gotten through this screen you see here. See, as you can see, all the ghosts move at different speeds, and you have to analyze every screen if you want to beat this game. And it is possible to beat it. I'll say that. I know people that have done it, but there's a lot of, you know, mean um, sort of traps in this game. Like, there's one here, so you, you jump over the water, right, and you get past this ghost, and you pick up those fireworks. I got points for that, but if I wasn't cheating, they blow you up and you die. You get the points, but you lose a life, man. That's really tight. So, yeah, imagine I wasn't cheating. I'd have to avoid all this crap, and, you know... Just see, see that? I didn't even avoid that guy then. I died. You know, if, if I was cheating, I would be dead. If I wasn't cheating. So. Uh, now, I'm going to tell you guys something. My sister used to like playing games um, on the Commodore 64. And, um, you know, I, I think I was pretty much better at a lot of the games just because I played them all. But my sister had a thing for this game. She was, I don't know, she was dedicated, I think, to beating this game. And, um, no shit. She almost got to the end. And that today, that to, till, till today, that freaks me out because I'll show you how far she got. She got through all these screens. Avoided all these ghosts. And I don't know how she did it, man. I, she just, it was just patience, I think. And, um, I'm not going to go that way because um, I'm cheating. If you fall in there, you get stuck. And, yeah. So, I'll go around. Um, but, yeah. It freaks me out. <laughs> she was pretty much um, two-thirds of the way through the game without cheating. And I was just like, how do you do that? You know, it's <laughs> like... So, I was like, you know, I couldn't even do that if I wasn't, if, if I wasn't cheating, you can't cross that, you can't jump over it, you have to go that other way, but, um, like I said, I'm just going this way to avoid that, um, that pit, because if you fall in that way, you're cheating, you can't get out, so, there we go, alright, yeah, if you touch anything, these balloons, anything, you're dead, you know, there's those teleporters, you got to figure them out, you know, they'll put you in really bad places, and, let me turn the music up, by the way, because the music is incredible. And like I said, Rob Hubbard does it. I'm gonna stop talking, just let you listen to it for a while. How's this for time? If you get this teddy bear, you die. Because I'm not cheating, man. Because I'm fake. Guys, we just teleport up. Save a bit of time. <laughs> On that lift you dead meat, it goes up and falls down and you die. I'll show you actually. <laughs> but even though you're cheating, that's one of the traps you can get you while you're cheating. Pretty much one of the only things that can get you. I think it is the only thing that can get you. This lift, as you can see, this one isn't a trap. Otherwise, we'll push it back up the top. You can see rubber gloves, balloons, all sorts of things that I've been wanting. 